return of late night television shows were back on the air overnight with the writers back at work while the actors are back at the negotiating table working toward their own deal. Kana Whitworth is in Los Angeles. Good morning, Kana. Hey, Michael, good morning to you. So they're back at that negotiating table for the first time in two months, and actors on the picket lines tell us they're both excited and hopeful following what's widely seen as a win for the Writers Guild. The thing is, this strike, you know, it's been going on so long, I just don't know if I'll be back. You'll be back. <laughs> Looks like Arnold was right. Late night talk shows finally returning following the end of the writer's strike. In case you've forgotten, my name is Jimmy. I've been off the air for five months. We're back, baby! We're back! Seriously, we were off the air for so long, the bachelor went from this to this. I mean, what happened? For five months, the WGA strike crippled all corners of television, even daytime. Now writer's rooms across Hollywood no longer empty. Writers negotiating a three-year agreement with studios securing increased compensation, residuals from streaming revenue, and control of AI usage. This, as their sister union, SAG-AFTRA, pushes toward reaching a similar solution for actors, returning to the negotiation table this week with the major TV and film studio CEOs, all while remaining on the picket lines. It's actually very inspiring knowing that WGA got their deal. And the most majority of things that they were talking about, we're talking about as well. So it's promising. If the actors strike a deal, then by the end of October, uh, cameras could start rolling again. And some of your shows that weren't on in the fall will hopefully be back by mid-season. And how about that? Now, he went on to say that many of those films that were delayed could also perhaps be in theaters as soon as next summer. Guys. Mm, we are hoping for